are addressing the affordability of the deputy de the honorable member for Louis Saint Laurent Mr Speaker this morning in my riding the price of gas gas went up to $2.24. I've never seen this before, and this is the reality affecting all Canadian families in my reading and across the country. And when prices go up, taxes go up as well. The government makes more money. However, what sets Canada apart from other countries, such as Germany, England, Australia, and other countries, is that they have lo lowered gas, gas taxes. How come the Liberal government is refusing to do so? The Honourable Minister of the Environment, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to continue in the same vein as my colleague with respect to carbon tax in 2007. Harper government suggested a $15 increase. Then they changed ideas in 2011 and said, no, that we won't do anything with respect to climate change. And then, surprise, during their last election campaign, the Conservative Party proposed once again to support carbon tax, and now they no longer support it. What the Canadians want is action on climate change, not flip-flopping every day. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint Laurent, what Canadians want, Mr. Speaker, is clear. They want efficient policy to fight inflation. The government is filling its pockets with gas prices because taxes are rising and money is going out of Canadians' pockets. There are other countries are lowering such gas taxes. How come Canada can't do so? The Honourable Minister, rather Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, once again, we're seeing that the Conservatives have to pick a lane. They need to pick a position. Half the time, they're talking about the deficit and they're complaining about the government's response. And the other half of the time, they're praising costly programs proposed by other governments elsewhere. So what are they really defending, the Conservatives? We need a responsible fiscal position. McMurray, Cold Lake. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Unfortunately, Canadians need answers, not talking points. People in my riding and in northern and rural communities all across Canada have to drive just about everywhere. Fuel prices are at record highs, which is making life harder for all Canadians. When will the government drop the talking points, do the right thing, and drop the GST on fuel and li make life more affordable for Canadians? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the Honourable colleague knows, the invasion, the unjustified invasion of Ukraine by Russia has driven up energy prices around the world. This government is working actively with our partners in the United States and with other countries around the world to ensure we are increasing supplies to stabilize energy pricing globally. We are also working actively within this country to ensure that we are addressing affordability challenges. This, uh, this opposition voted against tax cuts for the middle class. They voted against the Canada Child Benefit. They voted against daycare programs, all of which are aimed at ensuring the affordability for Canadians from coast to coast to coast. Here, here. The Honourable Member for Carleton Trail Eagle Creek. Mr. Speaker, the Liberals' high taxes and high inflation policies are hurting Canadians. Sean, a veteran and a constituent in my riding, recently emailed me to say that as a result of the carbon tax and the impact of inflation, he has had to sell his home in order to get by. Sean's home was his nest egg and safety net for the future. But thanks to this Prime Minister's policies, it is gone. Will the Prime Minister acknowledge the harm his policies are having on Canadians like Sean? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. 